Today I'm going to teach you how to do the Elizabeth stitch. The Elizabeth stitch is also known as the mini bean stitch and it's a beautiful stitch that has a nice little braid and you can do it with a couple of different yarns. So for this one right here where I'm doing the demonstration, I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver in the ombre in the color Scuba. This is a great color and I love using this one. I'm also using my tulip hook in the size H, 8 or 5.0 millimeter. But I also wanted to show you how it looks in a smaller lightweight yarn. So this was a baby weight yarn that I used. It's a little bit smaller and it's still very beautiful. I think this would be great for a baby blanket. So let's get started. To start with the Elizabeth stitch, we're going to chain in multiples of two plus four. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to chain 24. So we're going to start with the slip knot, insert my hook, and I'm going to chain 24. Okay, now that we have 24, in the fourth chain from the hook, so one, two, three, in this chain right here, we are going to insert the hook, we're going to draw up a loop, then we're going to yarn over, put it back in that chain, draw up another loop, and then you will have four loops on your hook. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four. And then we're going to yarn over and draw through all four. Then we're going to chain one. Then we're going to skip one chain. So we're going to skip this one and we're going to do it again. We're going to insert our hook, draw up a loop, then we're going to yarn over, insert it, pull up a loop, and we'll have four loops again. We're going to yarn over, pull through those four, and do a chain. Then we'll skip one, and you'll do it again. Insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert that hook again, draw up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, draw through again. So that is your repeat. You're just going to skip a chain and do the first bit of the Elizabeth stitch. So we'll do it one more time and then we'll begin the repeat and I'll meet you at the end. So we're going to skip one, insert our hook. Oops, I like to go under both loops, but it's totally up to you how you do it. We're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, insert again, pull up a loop, four on the hook, and chain one. So I'm going to continue down here all the way to the end and your last stitch, right here, your very last one, you'll finish it with the Elizabeth stitch there. So you're going to go all the way to the end and I will meet you there. I'm at the very last chain, so I'm going to insert my hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook, and drop another loop. That last one can be a little bit fiddly. And then you have four loops. So you're going to yarn over and draw through. Then you're going to chain one and turn. Now this is what it should start looking like. Go this way you can see it a little bit better. Now we're going to chain two. Now your stitch space is going to be this little area right here. This is where you're going to insert your stitches. Right beside all of them, there's that little opening right there. So let's get started. We're going to insert the hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through all four. You'll chain one. Then you're going to go right into this space here. Insert the hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. Four loops on the hook. Yarn over, Draw through all four, chain one. And this is pretty much 
it with the Elizabeth stitch. Whoops. We'll do that repeat all the way down your row. And then I will meet you at the end of this. Okay, I'm at the end of this row. And instead of working in this little space here, I'm going to go one bit past it and work in the chain space. So in this area right here. And it's only for the end of the row. So I'm going to insert the hook and drop a loop, yarn over, insert the hook, drop a loop, and go through all four. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to turn. I'm going to chain two. I'm just going to repeat the last row. So I'm going to start in this little space right here. So I'm going to insert the hook, drop a loop, yarn over, insert hook, drop a loop, go through all four loops, chain one. And that is it. Pretty easy, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just continue making this a little bit bigger so that you can see how it looks as a bigger piece. And I will see you in a few minutes. So here we have the sample for you. It's just quite a bit larger where you can see how beautiful the stitch is. It's got like a little bit of a weaving, almost like a braided look that goes through it. And this is just gorgeous. So I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel or feel free to visit my website at www.handmadebystacyj. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crocheting.